In the mid-1960s, institutions, euphemistically called state schools, were the default providers of services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, over 200,000, half of them children. Steve Holmes worked at the Fernald State School in Waltham, Massachusetts, which housed 2,500 men and women. I was 19 years old. I showed up to work. I had no orientation. I worked on a ward, which is about the size of this room here. Uh, there were 28 men living in this ward. All of those men were in metal cribs. People weren't in wheelchairs. People laid in bed all day. They basically laid in diapers. I could not believe that people could live in these kind of conditions. Uh, it was unbelievable. 